Hi guys, this is Jose here from Tech Tricks Info. Can cell phones trigger an explosion at gas stations? We'll technically analyze the danger of using a cell phone at gas stations or petrol bunks in this tutorial. So first of all, it is theoretically possible to set off a petrol fire with a mobile phone. It is theoretically possible, but is it practically happening? Uh, to support this claim, there are news reports from various parts of the world stating explosions at gas stations and human casualties due to usage of cell phones, but no scientific uh, proofs as such. The amount of energy needed for a spark to ignite petrol vapors is 0.2 millijoule, which is roughly one five millionth of the energy stored in a fully charged phone battery. So that means the phone battery is capable of creating that much energy which can cause this danger. But uh, on the contradictory, uh, mobile phones are not designed uh, to make spark. It is not a spark making gadget. So uh, it can cause only by accident. If uh, the lithium battery used in a mobile device could explode while charging. Let's see an another uh, reason or another possibility for fire with a mobile phone. What about the electric field put out by uh, your mobile device? Would that be a reason for this type of accidents? The answer is yes. The electric field has been measured at 2 to 5 volts per meter and has been known to interfere with heart monitors and infant incubators in hospitals and various other electronic equipment in aeroplanes. A study conducted on 243 petrol station fire accidents across the world between 1994 and 2005 gives a data that none of these were caused by a mobile phone. Petrol station fires are very rare and nearly all are caused by sparks from static electricity igniting petrol vapors. This requires just the right mix of air and vapor, which is much less likely to occur as nowadays all petrol bunks have vapor recovery systems installed. Uh, some studies claim that the electromagnetic waves emitted by the phone are more than sufficient to create considerable static electricity that heats the surrounding air and if the flammable vapor is concentrated enough in that area that can cause an explosion. So uh, the real culprit here is static electricity. What is static electricity? Static electricity means frictional charge imbalance. Uh, it is an imbalance of electric charge within or on the surface of a material due to friction. Uh, this can uh, happen in a petrol bunk. Uh, like uh, when you are getting out of the car, your cloth fabric rubs with the seat fabric of your car and that friction can create static electricity. Closing the door can create static electricity. If you rub your hand of the body of your car, that even can create static electricity. And if fumes are available, if a spark is generated from that static electricity, still that is dangerous. That can create an explosion. So to conclude, petrol vapors catch fire more easily than liquid petrol. Uh, mobile radiation increases many times when your cell starts ringing or when you're making a phone call. Uh, so several conditions like weather, clothing, different mobile instruments are known to increase the possibility of a fire and if there is a fire consequences are very dangerous for people around. So don't take risk. Keep the cell a little further from the gas filling area and that urgent calls cannot be more important than lives of you and the people around you. So avoid answering phone calls or making phone calls at a gas filling station just as a precautionary measure uh, to avoid uh, accidents. And mainly avoid getting into the car and getting out of the car while fueling as this can create static electricity which can be the main reason for the fire. If you find this video useful please click the like button to support us which will allow us to make more such videos. You can also drop your comment in the section below if you have something to share with others or if you have faced some similar situation in a petrol bunk and make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. 
you can also ask your doubts through whatsapp our whatsapp number is given here in the video and also in the description below so thanks for watching this video have a great day